Hello, 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 and welcome. Welcome to another in our great wander through the discography of Penguin Cafe Orchestra. The last video was popular, wasn't it? Go and watch it. Go and watch it. Today we're doing the, uh, the, th the third studio album, which is called uh, Broadcasting from Home. Can't help myself. Uh, released in 1984. Now, remember, we did talk about um, the Penguin Cafe Orchestra mini album from 83, which has the uh, Omnicord on it, and uh, that's featured on this album as well. So, uh, on on the Music by Numbers track. Anyway, it starts with the epic Music for a Found Harmonium which was actually um, named after a, a, a harmonium that Simon Jeffs found um, in the, on the streets of Japan back when he was there in the 70s. Yeah. Um, and again, it's one of those tracks that you would have heard on adverts and as background music for TV shows. It's Again, it's another one of those um, very familiar pieces. And it's, um, well, it's just... It's the best track of the album, and it's one of those songs that, again, that defines the band. And you're still here, it's still here being played today via the, the new Penguin Cafe, helmed by Arthur Jeffs, Simon Jeffs' son. Um, and again, as we go through the album, there's a lot of kind of referring back to other other pieces like Prelude and Yodel. Yodel. Again, we're going back to the Yodel pieces that we had on the previous, you know, it kind of references, you know, it's not the same, but it's kind of, they share the same musical DNA. More Milk, again, has a similar structure and uh, tone to the track Milk from the very first album. Um, um, we get to Sheep Dip, and Sheep Dip's interesting because um, you would get the 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 American composer, and it's funny because on a later album, uh, Jeff's covers um, Aaron Copeland. I think that's right. I have to check my notes. I haven't made any notes. I'm doing it off the top of me noggin. But yeah, Sheep Dip has a has a the feel of an Aaron Co Copeland piece because um, again, if you're not familiar with his work, um, he did a classical music that was very much based in Americana and you know the the, the the wide open plains and the you know the cow not the cowboy yeehaw but the idea of you know America as being a land of opportunity and, and the early pioneers and that kind of thing led into that and we hear that in Sheep Dip White Mischief we go to Africa and we have an African feel to the music again all the music on here it refers to other musical forms whether they be um, african american south american um asian japan you know before we have uh ruchi sakamoto turning up later on uh white mischief again it refers to um the color the col colonization of africa the tile itself um because the the black natives used to view the white incomers with suspicion because a lot of the right the white rich folk um, used to hole up and get up to all sorts of debauchery and all sorts of things and the Africans used to call this white mischief indeed and that's what that is referring to um, in the back of a taxi again it's not the first time they refer to um, taxis in 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 the uh, Penguin Cafe Orchestra, so again, it just it, you feel like we're going over um, ourselves over and over. Music by Numbers is is an interesting one because it's got a very um, electronic rhythm section to it, and it's used really effectively in the Penguin Cafe Orchestra ballet that we'll be talking about later um, where they turn into a big carnival th um, theme and now I mean that version is kind of <laughs> you know, 
windows it way back to when I hear this, I always think of the, the, the dancing monkeys, <laughs> dancing monkey and the animals dancing. Whenever I hear this now, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's in there. So I think of carnival and a big celebration. Um, it's a good one. Again, another one from the colonies. From the colonies, you see. It's lots of this. Um, and then we get to a really nice kind of end section of the album with a track called Air. Heartwind, um, that's Simon Jeff's co-writing with Ruchi Sakamoto. Isle of View, Isle of View, Isle of View. Ah, almost as good as Isle of Lucy, isn't it? The Isle of Lucy Festival. Isle of View, music for helicopter pilots, is a really great, just, it's a slight track, but it's got a really nice melody to it. And these tracks, and again, I was, again I've listened to this, I've been listening to these albums twice, vinyl and CD, just because I can and because I will, and because I love them so much. But um, it's these tracks on this album that um, I think taught me how to structure and layer sound or instruments against each other because, again, these instruments, are not necessarily a lot going on, but it's the way they, they interlock with each other. And Isle of View is a good example of that. Is there's lots of space for the various in instrumentation to move in and out of each other, and it's you know it's great. And at the end, we end with now nothing. Again, we have Jeff's doing a, a, a vocal performance over the most haunting, almost lullaby um, type song, and it just rounds off the album perfectly. A bit of a downer, but I think it's a really great track and ends the album perfectly. And yeah, it's 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 a good album. I don't think it's a great album because again, I think there's a lot of referring to other things, and it's the band kind of referencing themselves. Um, but I think you know, I think it's interesting. You know, it's not as good as the the, the previous one, yeah, Pen, the, what's just called uh, Penguin Cafe or Christian. Not as good as that, but I think it exhibit you know it, it inhabits a very interesting place and exhibits all the qualities you'd expect from the band. Also, we have Michael Giles turned up on, on one of the tracks playing. Michael Giles, if you don't know, was King Crimson's drummer and played with many different people. Again, we have um, Ryuichi Sakamoto there as well. Um, uh, Annie Whitehead, I think, makes her I think makes her first appearance. And she becomes a, a stall in the band. She plays uh, trombone. I don't think she was on the on the previous album. No, she wasn't. Yes, yeah, it is this one. I have to be so careful because people will have a go at me in the comments for getting it wrong. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's an interesting record. It's it's gonna. It's not necessarily one. Again, it's not. I don't like it. Oh, it's not. And it's not that it's a lesser record. It's just because the the first one, second one, whatever you want to call it. I kick. Is so strong. It has the misfortune to being like that. The, the 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 little brother of it, you know, if you know what I mean. Anyway, it has some really great moments on it though. So there you go. There are some tunes. There are some tunes. But I do get the feeling that you know because they are you know because Jeff's is kind of um, referring to himself and kind of just refining the sound a bit more. That's what that's what is a bit lacking here. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this. You can have a look at the let's have a look at the album artwork itself again by Emily Young, and this is an EG editions EG pressing. You can see all the people. Oh, if I can get it on the screen, you can see all the people that are are on here and what they play. See Simon Jeffs is very busy, and as you can see, Mike Giles is on track eleven. Um, so there you go. Remember, it's an editions EG release. <laughs> um, and there you go. CD is not much different. I think this was released. Um, it's either late. I think it might be in the nineties. It's got the barcode on it. You see, it's got the barcode, and just reproduces the album at the back there. There's nothing on the inner. It's completely blank. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that, you know, hopefully, and uh, we'll be doing the next one, 
next, obviously. Thank you for watching. Um, is that one more thing left to say? And by now you should know what that is, and that is, ta -da.